Picture of J. Robert Oppenheimer taken as he completed the final design of the atomic bomb, 1944. Okay, so you take these seven, you put them around in like a U shaped, and then you take your uranium charge and you fire it. I, I forget what the insides are actually made out of, but you fire a tiny little thing into a bigger thing and it, and it makes it makes many explosions. <laughs> the strongest force on Earth is whatever holds five liter buckets together. Wait until you find out about the vacuum of space. Farting in the chemistry exam to let my friends know that the answer is gas or sulfur or methane. I, f I feel like your answer could be very ambiguous. Ahem, lost wormhole. Do not attempt capture because you'll totally screw with the space time continuum, bro. Look, unlike this guy, I am totally in favor of you capturing a wormhole. Just wear gloves, wear eye, ear, and mind protection, and uh, don't listen to anything that comes out of it. Guess my height. Uh, Follow point three one. <laughs> Yeah, parametric camera solving is 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 actually not terribly hard. I'm sure there's a plugin for After Effects to do like a camera solve on on images and video. Oh no! My statistics textbook fell perfectly through the sewer grate. What are the chances? Now what are the odds? I'm sorry, I ruined the punchline. I'll never know. If great scientists had logos, I, I can't narrate fonts. Uh, but I feel like Newton, Euclid, and Faraday won, won the, this. At least for me, those are just my favorites. They're all fantastic. My concerned friend. Food won't fill that void in your heart. Me, a person of science. You did not specify which void. Once I told a chemistry joke, there was no reaction. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was a middle school chemistry teacher joke. I, that, mm, ouch. Finally got banned from the Flat Earth Discord by posting a forbidden image. Asteroid, Flat Earth, dinosaurs, Flat Earth like coin. <laughs> This is how I'm explaining the extinction from now on. To just no, the Earth, the Earth, the Earth is round, but like the asteroid hit it at such a right angle, it just like, the dinosaurs just flew off the other side. <laughs> they were all at DinoCon. Two cars about to have an accident. The driver trying to stop. The physics teacher in the other car calculating at what velocity and time he must apply the brakes to front flip above the other car. How light is this? This physics teacher's car. That sounds amazing. I want to see that. No, why are there letters in math? Math without letters. Math without letters. I will say I was the person in the middle for the longest time, mostly because I had terrible math teachers and the, the letters just got like introduced in pre-algebra and they didn't really explain that they were like placeholders. It's just like we saw for this letter. So it was like, so this letter means this number, but that number has now changed. They didn't explain it was like a variable. Like it just, it's gonna change. It's, it's, we don't know. It's a fancy question mark. And that's, that's what it honestly should be notated as. Organic chemistry. Why is it when something happens? It's always you three. Oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. I was like, carbon's gonna be in there. If we put a giant mirror 10 light years away from Earth and look at it through a telescope, theoretically, we'd see 20 years into the past. In actually, integer the past. Well, uh, yeah, yes, but we... <laughs> You have to get the mirror there, and the mirror has to have already been there, and then the light has to leave you and then travel back. So it's not like you will instantly see 20 years into the past. It's that once you get the mirror there and then light from Earth starts hitting it, then you'll begin to see, I guess, 10 years into the past and then increasing to 20. 10 years at the mirror, like the people installing the mirror will see Earth as it was 10 years ago. And then people at Earth will see nothing for another 10 years, at which point it will be 20 years into the past. But but yeah, it, you can't just blink a mirror into existence and see 20 mirrors, uh, 20 years into the past. 20 mirrors into the past. <laughs> Archaeologists are too scared to look inside the tomb of China's first emperor. Finally, stop opening crap. The first Egyptologists, pathetic. Scientists believing the world is deterministic in nature for thousands of years. Quantum, oh yeah, quantum physics. I have taken free online courses in quantum physics, like just introductory. I am not that like super smart or anything. Like I just wanted, I was curious. And I think I took it three times before I sort of understood what was going on. And once I did, I was like, this, it's just weird. Like quantum, it's just, everything's weird. Physics without maths, physics with maths. I'm not enough of a fan of, of math to, to get this one. I, I, when I did, I, I took physics in high school and like I used plenty of math. I don't know. I did run away from calculus to take statistics instead, which actually served me pretty well. I liked this. 
statistics. The plates are both broken and not broken until you open the door. Eh, well, mm, you can see the plates. They are currently unbroken. You have already observed the plates. Actually, I'm not going to be a Neil deGrasse joke buzzkill person on this one. It's a funny quantum physics joke. Well done. I love it. Great job. Motherfuckers be like, I'm an alpha male. A particles, alpha particles, uh, beta particles, x-ray, y-ray, and neutrons. Okay, so uh, tell me more about this low penetration power. <laughs> I, I always look at it from a computing standpoint. So you're telling me you are a very early prototype that is not fit for the public. Uh, you are possibly unstable and you are of incomplete build. Gotcha. I wonder what the aerodynamics of a Pringles are. Oh, that's cool. That's, oh, that's cool. Oh, I, I want to do simulations on the aerodynamics of a Pringle now and see if it's actually good for something. I'm just, I'm, there's at least two axes. I think you could get a decent amount of, uh, well, I'm not sure. I want to see it now though. Prostaglandins. I don't do squishy science. Raising my body temperature to fatal levels just to kill a cold virus. This is fine. Yeah. I had 106 degree fever twice in my life. Both times I had pneumonia. That's pretty much what it feels like. I don't even feel hot anymore. It just feels like haze. That will only attract negative people. Be positive like a proton. Yes, this is true. I'm split on this one. I I, I like the, the silly dad joke on the side of the mug, but the the, the, the OP is correct. But I also people that hate people that buzz kill jokes. So, so, so you both get a pass from me. Guys literally want only one thing and it's fracking disgusting. The science book, the literature book. I feel like I've seen these at one point, like on a shelf or something, but I don't think I've ever actually opened one of them. I just sort of love all that sort of like edutainment -y encyclopedia stuff. It's just fun to look at. If you die in the same hospital in which you were born, your average velocity will be zero. Bonus points if you time your death so that it's at the exact same time of year and time of day. So at least your solar system position is zero. Your, you know, galaxy universal position will be wrong because we've moved since then. But the 3D model of where you have been for your entire life would be really cool. Nobody's ever going to actually factor it all out, though. <laughs> Maybe in 100 years. Eight-year-old me cried hard when I read Encyclopedia Britannica and learned that the sun will die in 9 billion years and all life in the world, too. R really? I'm, I'm sorry. I remember, like, learning that. It was like, thank goodness, like, nobody lives to 9 billion years old. <laughs> Even from a kid, I was just like, I don't want to be there. Why did Einstein invite time to his wedding? Because time was relative. Well, I, I, at least he wasn't marrying it. I'm not sure where that Alabama joke came from, but you're getting an Alabama joke today. Remember these? guys this is them now feel old yet mmm woolly mammoth juice the fastest kind of juice humans sending this out aliens response the frack was that i got i got like hyper fixated on this for like a week and like looked up everything that like translates and and like i see what they're going for and i think the intent is good and probably you know advanced civilization would be able to decode this just fine i'm sure but like it's it's a lot <laughs> It's very cool. It's absolutely fascinating. Buy one kilogram of pure mercury, 100 euros per kilogram. Whoa, it's shiny. I can see my face in it. Yeah, don't don't eat it. Uh, take off one proton per atom. Where are, where are you getting atomic tweezers? Be careful, electrons might hurt you. Plastic tweezers, <laughs> not to get electrocuted by proton. Now you have one kilogram of pure gold. 35,000 euros per kilogram. I can still see my face on it. Repeat until you are rich. That sounds legit. Seems fine to me. I think the only, the only problem you're gonna have is the tweezers, but it seems like you already got it figured out. Thank you, God, for giving us computers to do the hard work for us. Of course, my child. This is what I always intended. That's why I made them so easy to make with just lead and copper. You, you, you mean silicon, right? Oh no, Pl please. Don't tell me. Anyone willing to explain this? A room temperature superconductor made of lead and copper has potentially been discovered. It's just a hype train for now, uh, but it could mean major advances in every electrical field. Okay, tiny explanation. Uh, this refers to something called LK99. I'm not going into the details now, but it is not just lead and copper. It was discovered through lead and copper oxides, I think. But but it's it's a little stretching the, the truth because... Uh, uh, it'd be like calling water 
just oxygen. Like there, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but superconductors uh, usually have to be kept very, 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 very cold. And if we had a room temperature one, we wouldn't have to spend all the energy to get a superconductor down to minus whatever, Jesus, near absolute zero. And superconductors have a lot of applications, but not for everything. And there's not even a, a practical, like solid thing yet. So this is still way off, but it's 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 exciting. It's exciting from a scientific standpoint. But but the joke is uh, several degrees away from from the source when you accidentally drink acid, but immediately also drink alkali to uh, neutralize it. A chemist. <laughs> don't I don't think that's gonna work the way you think it is. Me using a bunch of math. Why am I being faced with math? To find roots of x squared minus one equals zero. Okay, sure. Okay, I, I can see the, the joke. Wait, I actually recognize that equation. That's the quadratic formula. Oh my God. I actually knew a math thing from my like extremely limited engineering math I had to do like twice. You brought an excavator to dig up some flowers. Got it. Safe distance from nuclear bloom. Uh, staying nine feet away from the blast is safe. Uh, how, how small is the blast? <laughs> I, I would like press X to doubt. I mean, it's it's safe in that you won't it, you probably won't experience any pain because it'll take 100 milliseconds for pain to get to your brain. But I, we have very different definitions of safe. I'm taking the two of you in for assault. Y'all never catch us alive, copper. It's sodium chloride. It's that's it's just table salt. I do I do like copper <laughs> being the cop. That makes me happy. Know the difference. causes. <laughs> I don't do squishy science. <gasps> very small causes gonorrhea. Oh. Oh, uh, Diplodocus, very big, <laughs> does not call, cause di <laughs> does not cause gonorrhea. Things I have learned today. The dinosaur Diplodocus does not cause gonorrhea. <laughs> okay. Hey, I wanted to learn things today. I didn't specify what I wanted to learn, so that was my fault. Saw a cool bird and Googled what it was called. Lamau, I, I hate ornithologists. Black bird with a yellow head. Yellow headed black bird. I was like, ah, that's gonna be nice. So many bird names are like the most literal thing. I mean, the, the, we, we have them all over the place here. The, what is it? Red-tailed hawk, I think it is. It's just like, oh, that's a red-tailed hawk. Oh, what's, what's the, is there a prettier name for it? No, it's just, it's a hawk with a red tail. Like, okay, it's pretty, but wow, y'all just looked at it and said, yep, that's what it is. 100 degrees. Oh, is this gonna be a Kelvin? Yeah. Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin. I like this one better than the last one, though. When you hear someone say G equals 32.2 feet per second squared. The attempt on my life has uh, left me scarred and deformed. Okay, so I don't get this one at all. I know it's a measure of velocity, but I don't know what G is. That's, that was kind of like my measure with my, my, one of my problems with math is that like sometimes letters stand for specific things and sometimes they don't. And so if G is G gravity? No, it can't be gravity because that's not, it, that's a unit of force. Well, I guess it might be velocity. I don't know. I don't know what G is, or is G is? Is it just, I don't know, describe, describe what you're trying to tell me. I know this is coming from someone who works in IT and we have acronyms everywhere, but they're usually at least three letters. Me watching a video on science. A war in the comments about whether Neil deGrasse Tyson's ego makes him a bad scientist. Me watching a video on science. Ah, frick. I don't, I don't think he's a bad scientist at all. I do think there's a balance between laughing at things that are just stupid and funny from the viewpoint of like mainstream audiences and then picking apart a thing from a scientific standpoint and be like, actually, this is why I much prefer, prefer Adam Savage's approach, which is usually, huh, I wonder if that would work in real life when he sees something that's like, you know, uh, very spectacular in a film. And if it doesn't work, like, what is the maximum amount that we could, like, how many times could you get, you know, I don't know, smacked off of something in Mission Impossible instead of Neil deGrasse Tyson, who, like, called up James Cameron and was like, ah, you got the sky in the Titanic wrong. I'm like, this, 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 are you proud of this? Like, it would have been way better. It would have just been like, here's a re-rendering of the scene that I put together in After Effects or got somebody to put together in After Effects for me with the correct sky. It was bothering me, so I made this little clip. And, and this is what it would look like with the correct sky. Like, that, that seems like a way better thing than just like, you got something wrong. I don't know, that's that's my personal opinion. Create something new instead of putting somebody else down. Okay, so pox over, sorry. Humans sending up location of Earth and information about humanity with the hope of establishing communication with intelligent extraterrestrial life. 
aliens coming to enslave them and steal Earth's resources with the help of that message. I, I mean, I love the meme. I love the idea of Voyager actually making it somewhere or one of our radio signals or whatever, but the, the, the physical object of Voyager making it somewhere and it crash lands on a planet just like 10,000 years too soon for them to have the technology boom that they would need. And the record where all of the information is encoded just ends up as like a holy artifact or something <laughs> and gets replicated as a religion. But it becomes like like the Bible where it's like a game of telephone that is just like gradually sort of changes in meaning. And we eventually get to space travel, find this planet, show up to it, and they are all worshiping like a very garbled, like child's rendition of a child's rendition of a faint memory of the Voyager record. And we can just be like, well, we tried. You are here crying in the shower before work. I always th thought these pictures were really pretty. Uh, it just reminds me not to take life too seriously. And neither should you. Talk dirty to me. There are more living organisms in one tablespoon of soil than there are people on Earth. How to kill the vibe 101. Blow my mind. Hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog is blue because of the Doppler effect. That, that Doppler effect meme from the last one. Oh my God. Some of you came to my channel to, to yell at me about the stupid Doppler meme. There was no other information showing me it was a Doppler meme. It was a hand-drawn cartoon with a blue and a red car. And oh my God. So if Sonic like completely stops, wait, is a stop Sonic Knuckles? Or is Knuckles just in the ops? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm screwing up all sorts. I'm, I'm gonna get fandoms angry at me now. Speed 1994 incorrectly credits Jan de Bont as director. Speed did not have a director because if Speed had any direction, it would have been called Velocity. <sighs> okay, that, 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 that one hurt. That hurt. Ugh. Anyone can post misinformation on social media, but they shouldn't. Or their mattress will be filled with fish. D not saying I will do that, but just saying. Anyways, anyone can edit Wikipedia. Well, sort of. Anyone can post an article online. Yes, very true. Anyone can publish a book. <laughs> anyone can sponsor a scientific article. Ah, you can never be safe from misinformation. No, you can't. But you can definitely have peer-reviewed research. And aiming for that is better than nothing. Canadian kids wearing shorts when it's 10 degrees Celsius out. Australian kids wearing jackets when it's 30 degrees Celsius out. Y'all are working, wearing jackets in 30 degrees Celsius? American kids not understanding the meme because they don't know what Celsius is. I think everybody kind of knows. They know zero is cold and 30-ish is hot. Celsius is fine. It's a great scale for measuring temperature, but Fahrenheit is better for measuring how warm or cold you feel. Zero, cold, 100, hot. If you grew up with Celsius, that's not going to make sense to you, but if you if you, if you walked in to a, a new, I don't know, biosphere or something, or even better, you just arrived on Earth. You have never had a concept of temperature. You have lived your entire life in space. You have just landed on a planet. The planet has fluctuating temperatures. These temperatures affect how you feel and how you go outside and, and what you set your age back to and stuff like that. Zero cold, 100 hot. Pretty, pretty intuitive. Anyways, you're getting a lot of rants today. <laughs> Mainly on the memes that put other people down. We don't, no, no, no. Fossils of a turtle the size of a car have been unearthed in South America. Carlos for scale. <laughs> there we go. There's a good science behind this. <laughs> one, one Carlos. They should do like LTT where, where they sell the banana for scale. I finally got the pink banana for scale. I'm so happy. But yeah, it is a movie. <laughs> yes, I'm glad we found this fossil, but how many Carlos is this? <laughs> hey, Einstein, what if I record a footage of light? Record footage of light? And fast forward it. Wouldn't that be faster than light? What? Oh, okay. All right. It ends with a fight. All right. That, that seems about right. Scientists, how will you test such an ambitious theory? String theorists, that's the neat part. You don't. I read up on string theory once. I don't remember any of it. I don't get this one. And then that's fine. Frogs exist. Biology students. Why, yes, it is an X. Jesus. If God wanted us to have unlimited free energy, he'd have put a giant fusion reactor in the sky. Um, sir, there, there is a giant fusion reactor. Oh my God. Precisely. Conductor. Physical. Wire. Musical. Wavy hands in front of orchestra. Superconductor. Physical. Doesn't doesn't actually look quite that cool, but they look, they look pretty cool. Musical. Yeah, they look about that cool. That agrees in violin performance. So like, I this this makes perfect sense. We had one conductor that that I, I swear to God, he was just like corralling fishes in his arms. 
I, I don't think anybody in the orchestra had any idea what he was doing. He was like a guest conductor from France for like two weeks and nobody had any idea what he was doing. He just sort of like waved his arms in front of the stand in like a circular motion, which is not how you denote downbeats and like count the actual time signature. So we all just kind of like played the piece and like nodded. We could barely understand him and we could barely figure out what he was doing with his arms. That wasn't related, but I, I you were gonna get it anyway. Deal with it. When you want to upgrade your Hominidae OS and find out that your old Neanderthal hardware is no longer supported. This is an evolution joke, I think. Just have fun with your squidgy science. I need one and zeros. I, I don't understand this squishy stuff. If you break the laws of man, you go to prison. If you break the laws of God, you go to hell. If you break the laws... <laughs> I'm sorry. If you break the laws of physics, you go to Sweden and get a Nobel Prize. <laughs> oh, that was the best one today. Oh, that's the best thing ever. Oh my god. I love it. Don't believe everything you read on the internet just because there's a picture with a quote next to it. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> a quote you should... Not believe, but is factually correct. What does bi-monthly mean? Twice a month or every two months? 50%, 50%, 613, how is it 600? <laughs> I need more decimal places. <laughs> Thanks guys for your help. <laughs> I always thought it was twice a month because I've seen it in like, uh, this is, like job descriptions is pay is bi-monthly. Although I also have also seen bi -week. I don't know now. I don't, I, but no, I'm going to let that just remain an enigma. String theory. Seven extra dimensions. I, oh, I thought, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good. <laughs> Look, I, I have enough projects then to fall down a rabbit hole of something that doesn't actually complete some of the other projects. Doing algebra. Things start canceling out. More things cancel out. X equals A. X. Wait, wait, wait. Something, something, something went wrong. I've canceled too much. New innovative thinking. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Periodic table of the elements. Okay, my vision's kind of crappy, and I don't know the periodic table of elements by, like, heart. This looks like one of those display thingies. I've seen these advertised on, like, Instagram and stuff like that, so I, uh, I'm not sure what this is, this is illustrating. I didn't know that many elements were that radioactive that they couldn't include them in, in, in this. But, but yeah, I got nothing on this one. Sorry, guys. Hashtag justice for Nobita. Two plus two times five. That's be 10 plus two is 12. Yeah, no, that, that's correct. If you didn't have the plus in there, then it'd be distribution and uh, all sorts of other weird stuff like that. No, that's, that's, that's fine. At this point, I'm just concerned about the people in TikTok. There are people inside of TikTok. Just, you have to respect other people's opinions. Their opinion. <laughs> Three squared. Is, I mean, if you're upside down, if you write the answer upside down, <laughs> it's literally six. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I, I hope these people like learn. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of these people are just memeing, but I, I'm guessing at least one is it. And I hope that person learns what exponents are. Like, I don't wish them any well. Uh, well, I just hope they learn what exponents are. Then they'll have learned something. Heisenberg giving a lecture on nuclear physics during World War II. Moberg waiting in the crowd with a pistol in case it looks like Germany is getting too close to building a bomb. I don't know anything about this this area of history. That that sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> that, that, that this entire story sounds really interesting. Electron is lonely. <laughs> like, the programming framework? Oh. <laughs> Electron, proton, neutral. <laughs> that moment, wow, copper plate, gothic, bold. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, that moment when you give up on trying in your chemistry's test. Pukakuna, matata. <laughs> oh man, I barely passed chemistry. This is exactly something I probably would have done if I had to take it for another year. Snails decide using two brain cells, <laughs> just like me. Snails use two brain cells to make complex decisions. A team of finds snails. Tells me you and I aren't so different. <laughs> yep, I mean, core two duos, but the, 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 they, they were great processors. That could be two brain cells. Well, I guess it's a lot of shut up. The language of science. Who uses Greek letters? Mathematicians, physicists, Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is like who uses Latin phrases, <laughs> except there's still a country that actually theoretically should still use that. I don't know anything about, about how that works. Bay, I'm pregnant. Hmm, okay. NASA has lost connection with Voyager 2 by accidentally sending wrong command. <gasps> what? <laughs> I could not imagine being like the engineer to send that command. Like I, I do a lot, I work night shift and I work on servers. So there's a lot of times where I send a command through command line and I hope that, you know, a cluster or a bunch of servers comes back up. And sometimes it doesn't, and I have to fix it in the middle of the night before the morning, and everybody, you know, comes back to work. Ah, uh, and that's stressful enough. <gasps> 
we can't just like send somebody to go fix voyage. Like it's just, it's out there. I hope that engineer knows everything's okay. Mistakes happen. And I think we're getting Voyager, in contact with Voyager. So it's all good. 